welcome guys and sorry for that when i'm gone i gone when outside f my friends came there and sorry for that and i'm back here on the same spot where we left i didn't change any code yet so you didn't get confused what i done or if you're having some faults that doesn't include it in the video because if i done some background editing guys that really doesn't mean it's a full completed tutorial on so i'm not gonna do any background editing there so that's fine now where we left i'm not gonna waste your time and even mine so just start simply we just done is this much if you don't watch this thing just uh, we will have the link in the description just watch the previous part it's really cool now moving on we done is this thing yeah and now we have to do if we even given a class of uh, white actually button to yeah we given the class of the image which is white but it's pretty huge for that so we will define our css first so it should be dot white yeah dot white it is i mean in cold phrases actually guys we will write something now first defining the height and width actually uh just make it by 20 by 20 yeah it didn't matter it's just choose your own according to how much it took on so yeah i got with how much recording you're doing is so it i will make it 20 by 20 pixels sorry yeah it refresh yeah yeah that's really looks best it's not much bigger that's what i wanted it then uh, now i want them to be position absolute so now this position absolute does is actually position your numbers or anything with respect to your we will say the buttons which is actually position to relative now if i say 10 pixels it will move this thing 10 pixels from the edge of your buttons what we needed is doing that so it will be a lot simpler for us so i will make it about top 26 pixels yeah top colon 26 pixels semicolon now that it's a lot of thing now just make it about 10 pixels no, 10 is much lesser so we will switch on to the 15 thing 15 is fine and switch the left to about 30 30 is lot so we will switch it to about 25 you can see somewhere about 25 is uh, because we have this uh, as a border radius and we do not have this as a border radius so it will be mattering somewhere above the left edges so if i switch this to 25 uh yeah let's uh, just copy this and change it the class for solving this solution guys because we have this at the perfect spot we have somewhere about there to write and we have a lot of other overlaying so we will change this maybe the solution is the same just copy it white white one by two hit refresh so they really got this big copy this thing don't afraid guys it's really easy to do that paste twice and you have to do it just simply <sighs> simply go and just ch change it to white one and white two and just start playing with the settings now we can see in the white uh, white actually is so simply white we have to change the left to about 23 it's loud again i'll change it to 20 left actually in this 20 hit f5 20 will be loud so i will change it to about 18 hit f5 18 is not best so just change play according to your settings guys as per your need yeah 7 is my best choice second one is the perfect thing so we will change the stock effects it's it's white to 25 pixels fine it's it's really best but left 25 just change it to 24 now just uh, simply go in here and play it about their own 22 yeah it's yeah it's the best hit reef go in again you have to do it just copy this tag actually no need to write again and again just expand my coding view 
so I get more space to write the codes paste it paste paste now I will change the class of white to gray actually so g g gray and we will do the same solution gray 1 and copy this to gray 2 so guys uh, just to ch copy that this thing and change this source just, just click it in here you have the source panel and take this your gray arrow dot jpg just uh, change the source to all of this gray arrow dot jpg and here with the last is gray arrow dot jpg that's it so you can figure in design view you got this thing but it's uh, it's still overlaying so we'll do code copy it again y2 copy that just paste it change the y2 to actually gray you have to copy it again no need to write the code again and again so not the in, I'm not the perfect one and even when professionalist watching this this is not the best way to solve this problem but it's it's for how I do this so it's a gray 1 and gray 2 hit refresh and you ha we can see they are now overlapping with each other but they do not perfectly overlap with each other so yes you can see how uh, this one is best in here third which is properly overlaying second one is slightly different so we will go in first solve our second issue which is about grade 1 so now changing it to 22 just switch it to 23 try absolute solving a problem 23 just try to 24 yeah 24 will be best for me no yeah 24.5 yeah no and sorry for it's really taking time for me to calculate uh, yeah you can, see, you can see 26 is large so I will say 25 25 is the best for this now we will solve in gray first one which is this now 22 we will switch it to 20 but it's still not best enough 20 to about let's do is 10 not will be about 18 calculating yeah fine just make it 75 17.5 yeah, they are the best yeah you can see now they are all laying just simply have to do is just write a visibility which will be hidden all the time because we didn't want them to see just like that copy that and just paste it in there paste it in there yeah paste it all yeah As you can see they are not showing in in here themselves so what we needed is this thing now we reached to the end of our designing stuff this is it if I preview in the browser this is what we are uh, making for so now we are done with our designing so let's jump on and let's do some how effects so yeah which is these things so we didn't have any how effect in this thing which is a design perfect but we don't have any how effect which still looks same to our video copilot menu first of all we will do is uh, going in our dream river now, now this really is tough to do guys I, I really get frustrated in this while typing because sometime with I didn't know it perfectly it didn't work for me and I really get frustrated enough so if you're a basic to some transitions effect so don't worry you just follow along it will be a best way to f find that now first of all we will change anyone hover on the these buttons the background should be changed so so we will target as button colon hover so h o v e r which is the now make sure you give space and then you use this curly phrases so that's really well did that well, that works now i'm giving a gradient in this file which is the fourth and last gradient which is button hover just copy that now going to Dreamweaver and just paste it there hit refresh so if I hit uh, live actually button yeah I, I think so yeah 
This is problem I just really like dot buttons, not simply button, that's my fault. Yes, I'm minimizing that. So if I don't fail, something should be working best. Yeah, so you can see the works, but it's only in the first button because we applied only till first button. But first of all, we want them to be shortened up. So we will make height and red. No hit enter and just uh, now we do is change in height to read property so height semicolon with mm, semicolon and we will just uh, simply change this and shorten these things up so which we result actually our 150 pixels will short it about 148 pixels just to remove two pixels from either height and width so 48 pixels hit refresh hit left file, hit save changes, you can see it really shortens up now we got one problem solution guys it's really make him to move and thought that we didn't want it now it's really a shaky solution what I told is so what I faced and what I got the solution is a margin, increasing the margin actually margin hyphen left left along 8 pixels if I refresh actually F12 now what it does is uh, we have to do something margin left not guys so we will switch it to right my fault sorry for that yeah you can see now it doesn't move it's really short in this thing so but it really doesn't move now top we really we change the width also so we're making it to the center we will copy just simply copy that to rewrite that again again paste with that just change the right to top but we have to change something which is called now previously we just given 10 pixels of top so we will use 12 pixels of top increasing that hit refresh going a browser refresh that now actually does is now it's shortening these things up but it doesn't looks like it's going at one side now we have to do is now just copy this we really done it that paste it twice for all the three buttons so changes to just but simply button one and button two now if it r just code it for the one all will be easier yeah what the problem heck man what i thought is this so guys well back here with this thing which is really not improper is this not proper so something we does is just remove them this thing margin from top to 12 pixels adding this top 12 pixels will just simply do this hit left well save changes you can see now it's a uh, goes something we can say yeah not that it look make it realistic so change it to 10 only just switch it to the 10 back again hit refresh and just uh, that looks best guys first of all just now let's change it to 11 yeah that looks best you can see now that looks best we have to do it just uh, yeah wait a minute first group the other windows copy it this thing and paste it twice so which will be button 1 and button 2 refresh yeah you can see now all the things are best working hit left 12 hit save changes that's really looks best guys for me and that's the thing what i done that previously now the solutions now making it more interesting looking we have to do just make it top no sorry guys just give it a border actually uh, we will take one pixels solid solid space color yeah just uh, choose any color dark rgb shut the that be now i don't want the border to be much transparent so i will use 0.5 code now which is an uh, rgba code you can just copy this or you can just search in google it's and color coding style so you can see now we got nothing in here but in this we can guard the borders which is slightly visible we copy this type i'm not i'm the laziest guy ever i'm gonna paste it in here 
and gonna paste it in here and refresh yeah that's nice now we have to do is just uh, unhover we have to change this thing to gray and so that's why we done the image which is dot now we will do as an anchor hover tag so which is dot buttons we have usually right first of all which you on hover buttons button colon hover now now you write those ids or classes which you want to get affected so dot gray hit space and just write visibility to visib visibility to be visible and that's the thing now just copy this again you no need to write it again and again you do not you don't need it to write it again so button one gray one button two gray two refresh hit f12 save changes yeah now that's the thing guys that we are looking for this is the best thing you can change uh, yeah we got some shakiness here sorry for that we will just uh, simply do is uh, we will remove this top again and remove this you don't need it that no need of writing that remove this uh, that's really a uh, lot of shit codes no need that thing I'm sorry for language that's that's really just matters yeah they looks best now you are the you are the best thing so now yeah something which I'm finding is if I just hover on this the right one increases not the left that is it just just uh, do is just switch it to six don't don't do anything uh, f just switch it to six again now this problem occurs and solving this by observance guys so observing and solving is this most probably so you can see I solve those issues so observe and solve it's the most uh, features of web designing just observe the faults and solve and that's it guys so that's it guys uh, we done best here I usually edit my videos uh, I will I will really make it best for you guys to hear on best sounds and really I will do just uh, thanks guys this is the thing and if you really interested in this thing and if you want to go to the next next level of this thing you can try to creating the f drop down of this thing just try creating a drop down like this and if you are really successful guys I'm trying my best to do this and I will try my best how in short period I'll try to release this on hover but but guys if it is released I will really give an annotations for this and that's it guys no, uh, you just try to do this and if you succeed please 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 notify me and if you like this tutorial guys please 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 give me your opinion it's your opinion is the only one the driving force for me and if you uh, if you want it to be stay you can stay tuned and you want so much tutorials on yeah and you can usually check on my on the previous uh, web designing we really got things I usually design menus for websites specifications things yeah that's it guys uh, meet you at the next tutorial and thanks guys